Cardboard Podcast. I am your host, Trey, and I'm joined by my co-host, Titus. Hey. Hey, Titus. How you doing? I'm good. How are you doing, Trey? You know what? I'm jamming. We've got some new cool things. I'm Do we feeling know? pretty fresh. Are right, you now? Mm. And uh, this week, we uh, our guests for this week are a special cast, special of, cast. of funny boys. First up is Logan. I'm back. Also, Trey, you do not sound fresh. You sound the opposite of fresh, dude. You sound like yeah. weak old salami. I sound yeah. extremely fresh. I don't know you what you like mean. You sound like you had the shit beat out of you like yesterday, and you're still feeling the effects of it today. All right, and we next have the person who will kiss my ass and say they sound very nice, Editor Josh. Hey, yes, it's me, call. Josh, yet again. Josh Editor Day. extraordinaire. Oh, ed- sorry, Editor Josh. There you go. Oh, I, I, have a, I actually have a very important question. Yeah, what's up? Hey, Editor Josh. <laughs> How are you, man? <laughs> you have a good day? Can we get a hashtag fuck you, Titus, in the comments? There's actually going to be like four of them already. (laughs) All of them are my accounts, by the way. (laughs) So the big reason why we had to get these two in is just because of that one Crunker episode. Yeah. It came out Plus, I had to be week. here because uh, I made this beautiful new intro that will be added to this one. Oh, will it? Very, very nice. I'm gonna laugh yes. if it isn't. Dude, nice I, and jazzy. I, it has. It can't be in this episode now. <laughs> if it's just, not in this episode, I will. Please. Just because please. Logan pointed it out, I didn't say it intentionally, just because I know me and Titus were gonna do something if I pointed it out but now that Logan has said it the cat is not out of the bag and the intro will never be there I don't think the cat was in the bag to begin with to be honest you're right it was, it was you, just buddy. a fucking turtle damn mm-hmm. you're right alright who let the turtle out of the bag <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be my new go to saying oh yeah fits you yeah. like a glove fit OJ Hmm. So, what are our topics for today, huh? What should we start out with? Um, Editor well, Josh, put topics on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, so, fun fact, there's no editing done, because uh, Logan is the one who edits the podcast yes. episodes. Oh. Uh-huh. Fair enough. <laughs> I will not touch that. I already have to edit so much. I'm not going to touch the podcast. You know what, Josh? You got a new job. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hopefully I don't curse too much. I feel like I've been a lot. Eh. It's whatever. Don't worry about it. So what topic should we start out with? We should uh, start out with the one that I just posted in the topic suggestions chat. You know, we can start off with how tired of a boy I am. Because oh, let me oh, tell you, are oh, you a tired boy? Because oh, oh, little 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 twice tired. Because today was a very rampant day with a lot of boys running around. A lot of boys. Was it Ram Ranch? I am a man. Thank you very There's much. There's a lot of men. Was, <laughs> no, you ain't. Was it a night? Nice, did you have a nice weekend stay at Ram Ranch, Trey? I think I did. I can't remember the most of it. <laughs> To be fair, you spent most of it just staring down in a state of bliss. I I don't know if I would call that bliss. <laughs> it was definitely something that wasn't mm-hmm. fear. It wasn't the way. Was, I'm telling you. Either girl, way, it was the complete opposite of bliss. All the way on the other side of the scale. <laughs> uh, but uh, we want to talk about how how dangerously. And he was, I got with badminton, with us playing badminton. Yeah. <laughs> so today we had a birthday party for me. Uh, Narcissist. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we had a big birthday party where people came over, and Kylan was invited, and he Kylan didn't was, come. He, well, to be fair, he normally doesn't. 
That boy's a lot of work in the bedroom. <laughs> like you would know, you whore. Dude, we literally <laughs> all do Dude, we literally all do Kylan. No, I don't. I was never invited. Dude, Dude, I really don't, Trey, though. Trey, you, Logan, you literally start the trains. I literally wow. don't, though. You literally do, dude. dude. <laughs> I said do do. <laughs> you're that guy that we all go to a party together, and I didn't touch alcohol, and you're like, yeah, we all got to a... I didn't. Yeah, you did. Dude, you straight up did. I remember it. No. Dude, stop lying in front of the camera. Tell the Two. people <laughs> exactly what you did. <laughs> Describe it in HD. Where were you yes. December the 5th? Where what were you December 11th? I looked Kyla in the eyes and said, I don't consider... Don't touch my bitch, man. Very, very nice. So, should we move on to one of our topics for tonight? We have, topic. we have no topics. All we have is... We have multiple my, topics. My clipboard that... I'm literally looking in the topics chat right now. Podcast yeah, topics. the podcast topics and topic suggestions. We have a number of topics. It, just, it doesn't exist. I'm sorry. But hey, Logan, anyways. we're going over this week again. <laughs> of course. Hey, yes, sir. Hey, Logan. I just want to let you know, right? Yeah. Today, I'm a little bit unhinged because I'm tired, you know? Yeah. And hey. I'm just trying to, I'm here to write it out, to be honest. No shit. Did, did you say riot? You're here hey, to riot, riot dude? Riot it. Yeah, dude, you just said you're going to riot. Honestly, I'm with you. Where's the car? <laughs> I'm, I'm raging. Against the machine? <laughs> Woo. Um, oh dear. So, if there's little taps, there's little tip taps in the background. I yeah. love you, Logan. No, no, tip tap. <laughs> I I might just tap my desk just Dude. so you'll hear it later. I mm. might I might roll a couple of dice too. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you guys. I really do. No, oh, there's a D6 here. Hold do you have a reference as to why that's so bad? I try and cut ninety percent of that out. <laughs> fucking hate you guys. <laughs> you know, just to spite you, I'm leaving it fucking there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that wouldn't be spiting us. That would be making us the winner. So, should we move on to one of the topics? <laughs> we, don't, we don't have any topics. You know, we're just what here. The hell? Yeah, no. You know, we're just here to we're here to party. Josh, thinking okay. this is an organized no, podcast. I, I have a question for you, Titus. I have an answer for you, Trey. Uh, you guys see this? Yeah. Yeah, Titus, horrifying, Titus, isn't it, Logan? Titus turned on his webcam and showed like a handful of dice. <laughs> Giant fucking handful. Um, That's not even all the dice I own. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I hope it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> so, Titus, I have a question for you. Yeah. Um, superpowers, right? The real cool and interesting. Yeah. You know, yeah. Everybody, everybody always asks, could you, what, you could have any superpower, would you have? But nobody thinks about it. What if you had to be naked to use them? <laughs> <laughs> and that is what I'm asking you today. <laughs> what superpower do you get, but you have to be butt naked? You have to be a streamer. Honestly, I'm gonna say shape shifting. <laughs> Dude, you can have like a like a nine inch. Woo! You could have a real elephant trunk. I could have a whale. <laughs> God, you, wow. no, no. I would. I honestly shape shifter because like you could just you could just use that for your own militia. You win. I feel mm. like I feel like invisibility is also a contender. If like you don't want to be on a list. <laughs> well, no. If you're a shapeshifter, you can just shapeshift some clothes on. Yeah. The, so shapeshifter or like invisible. But how's it supposed to help you fight crime? Well, did you know how easy it is to fight crime if you're invisible? <laughs> well, another one that could no, be a I'm contender. No, shapeshifting. You, you turn into a wolf. Another That's one that fair. could be a contender if you had to be yeah. naked is pausing time. Because you could just that, pause oh, time, yeah. walk away, and Pull walk at a pace. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Definitely. So There's plenty like of different towers. So shuffling around with your pants, just kind of like around your feet type area. Like no, currently? No, no, like totally no, no, naked. No, no, no. Oh, okay. I was gonna say. Yeah, I yeah, can't like be... take my pants most of the way off and kind of maybe over to an area maybe and you can have like back up. gloves or like a hat on, but you have to you know have everything else. Like, I feel like uh, hold on, hold on. You can have a hand knit condom on. Have you guys ever watched Lord of the Rings? No. Yeah. Yeah. Shut up, Titus. I I've never seen right. Lord of the Rings. I know you have, Titus. Never Thank heard you, of it. Titus. Um, we you know, that bullshit. What, you <laughs> yeah, know, know, when little Hobbit boy puts on the ring, he just fucking disappears. Dude, spoilers. Yeah. It's not Whoa. a spoiler. <laughs> Shut up, Titus. It really is. I cry about it. Um, uh, it's like have. that. It's like that. He slips on and he's gone. Tori, if you slip off that last sock, you're fucking out of there. <laughs> so it's changed from you have to have your uh, have to be naked to activate the superpower to as soon as you're naked, the superpower activates. Yeah. See, this is a problem for people like the Human Torch. Like he gets in the shower and he doesn't have a house anymore. <laughs> well, he could wear he could wear like a bathing suit. He could wear some swim trunks. He shower. wears socks. He wears socks in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, that's yeah. such an unpleasant thought. You know who would thrive in that situation? Those people that wore like the the toe socks. Ugh. Those people are psychopaths. God, yeah. Yeah. I was thinking like invulnerability and like immunity to pain while the invulnerability is on, so no yeah. one can fucking hurt you, and you don't oh, feel yeah. it. So if the government tries to stop you for being a stripper or a streamer or whatever the hell you're calling it. You know, uh, they I can't do shit about it. it. And vulnerability would not include super strength, so people could possibly just take you down. Well, yeah, but you're invulnerable. Yeah, yeah but of with course. No level of combat training doesn't mean that you're super strong. If they put you in the electric chair, you're fine. You're invulnerable. I'm talking about like they could easily jail you. <laughs> like, they could also... thing. <laughs> oh god! No matter how impenetrable your skin is, your butthole is still always an option. All right. True. Oh, okay. True. Okay. okay. I'm just I, saying. I, I want to point this out. The point. Josh, Dude, sex would be super hard with this uh, caveat. No, uh, if, not if you have uh, invulnerability. You can't get an STD. <laughs> Josh, I want to point something out to you. If yeah, you're yeah. invulnerable, do you think that you're going to have any ails from age? Oh, that, that, actually, that is actually a, a point that I... The reason I would not want to live forever because you would age still. You would still be easily injured, easily this that. It would be but you're invulnerable. worse than death. To where you would age, you would like you'd be older. You would but get to the body... point where you want to die, but you can't. You would be for all eternity in pain and suffering. Humans It'd are be a fate worse than death. for a reason. That's why, <laughs> yeah, um, exactly. If humans were supposed to live forever, we would. Mm-hmm. I think you'll have a, a weak mindset. Think about I all think the things you too much possibly do. Dude, imagine. Please. It's not even what I'm saying. <laughs> well, the thing is, you know the you know the jack of all trades thing, and you know like yeah. being perfect at one thing to because if you get perfect at one thing. Or if you get good at everything, you're throwing away being perfect in something. At that point, if you're just immortal, you can be perfect in everything. Because you have time yeah, to be perfect true. in everything. You're ignoring the point. You After be... about like 200 years, you would be on like a – just sit, stuck in your chair. You would be so weak, you wouldn't be able to stand no, up. Well, sure. I, I, well let, let's assume it's an evolved form of immortality where it's like also, you don't age oh, this is this you, isn't, you don't age this isn't immortality this is invulnerability your body is invulnerable to everything so well, aging that's is not what you were saying invulnerable. before no, 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 invulnerability by definition is just you're not invulnerability doesn't mean you live forever it could be yeah it doesn't depending it on doesn't how you mean you live it. forever depending on how you wear it this isn't a monkey's paw this is a straightforward question about being naked forward. and being a superpower. Yeah. This is getting too serious. Yeah, boy. Right. Never. Podcast. Wait, serious? Yes, I am serious. Don't call me Shirley. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Trey hasn't seen that movie. 
What, in what uh, movie? What, airplane. What? Airplane. Right. Yeah. I'm going to air your plane. You've, while I've been editing the Crunker episodes, you've brought that out about you've brought that up about like five times. Titus what? Airplane. I like that movie. It's been on my brain recently. Sure. Yeah, but like every single time you bring it up, it's met with like, uh, oh, I haven't seen that one, and then you're like, you haven't seen Airplane. <laughs> every time. Titus. Get called out. Have you, you ever know, seen I'm, I'm this movie called Wheels on the Bus, dog? No. Titus, you've not seen Wheels on the Bus? I can't believe you. Try. Oh my god, dude. I haven't seen Wheels on the Bus. Dude, you haven't seen Wheels on the Bus? <laughs> Logan, hey. I can't believe you, dude. Hey, this is, a, this is a joke only me and Trey, people who have seen Wheels on the Bus, uh, will get. <laughs> the Wheels on the Bus go round and round. Uh, <laughs> you wouldn't get it. You haven't seen it. Yeah, hey, Titus. Are you talking about that movie that was in kindergarten? No. It's not a movie. <laughs> this isn't a serious discussion. <laughs> not Did gonna I? Lie. I've been losing sleep recently, so, like, you guys are saying Logan, there's a wheels on Logan, the bus movie, can't... and I'm like, holy Logan, shit. Logan, you, 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 don't just make, you, you don't make an excuse. You just accept your fate. Like, I, I almost said the ADHD line. I was like, it's whatever. I was so like, I a... the uh, decided my fate. Did I, speaking of kindergarten, did I ever tell you boys about the time I uh, peed on a tree and got uh, in trouble with the teachers at my school? Really? Why would you get in trouble for that? I don't know. Honestly, I was just Mother Nature's calling, you know, and we were going out to reset. Yeah, you're at school. You shouldn't be on your phone, dude. All right. <laughs> We we were going out to recess, right? And uh, I was like, "Oh, I gotta go to the bathroom." And the teachers are already like all the way fucking out there, and I was like, "Shit, I'm not gonna make it." And so there's just big fucking pine tree. And I started, you know, going under the pine tree. Um, and then this ginger kid comes around, and he's like, "I'm telling," I'm like. Why? And he fucking he runs away, and I'm just like, oh well, I can't like leave now, can I? So I just kind of hung out around that area. You could have left, dude. I know. I was a little kid. I was like, I'm gonna get in trouble if I leave. You're gonna get in trouble anyways, dude. <laughs> if you're uh, like, if you're gonna be late, be late with food. Yeah. <laughs> That is how you please the DM. You should track down that ginger kid and pummel his face in. <laughs> dude, dude, let's track him down and then just rob him. You're just going to approach him while he's, Ooh. like, on a bus, and he's you're going to be like, you remember me from, what was it, like, kindergarten or uh, elementary no. or whatever? Oh, like, I have a question. Wait, so he's on he's a bus? Like, what? So in this scenario, he's on a bus, right? What are the wheels doing? Hypothetically. Hypothetically <laughs> speaking, uh, the, wheels, the wheels on the bus do indeed go round and round. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's just like yelling the bus, like, "Do you remember me?" And he's like, <laughs> oh. "Dude, it's that scene from Avatar." <laughs> <laughs> he's like, "Should I?" Oh wow! Yeah. Uh, but the reason why I bring this up other than kindergarten related is because Logan and I had talked about being in situations. Where we had to really go pee, but we couldn't do anything about it. And I kind of wanted to bring it up today. <laughs> Ray, Logan, you remember this talk that we had in your truck? Yes, I do. <laughs> so, uh, not going to lie, a lot of mine are partially self-inflicted and mother-inflicted. Mm -hmm. So we'd be at the store, and she'd be on a shopping spree. She's, you know, got all her stuff, and, you know, I was young at the time. Couldn't walk myself to the bathroom and walk back and find her trusted. You know, I wasn't trusted to do that. So I'd be like, hey, I got to pee. And she'd be like, well, hold it, and you can go pee when we get back to the house. I'm like, whoa, we're at the store. Can I just pee here? No, you got to stay with me, and, you know, we're shopping. She didn't mean it ill will. And that led me to a useful skill, and that is I can hold it for hours on end. So I just got this real tough tolerance of it. And so... Steel bladder. 
Yeah. The balloon Wait. has to pop. <laughs> it has once or twice. I'm not gonna lie to you. But uh, yeah. So like, there's been several situations where like, I really don't want to pee here. Like uh, we were at this one house, and those people were kind of icky. You know what I mean? Like they had a kind of nasty house, but they had like 13 different children or some shit, and like. I woke up, had to pee, pushed it because I was running behind, and then I got there and I was like, fuck. Well, mm -hmm. I don't want to pee while I'm here. This place is nasty. Just a bunch of kids. They have no respect. I'll just walk in on you. Mm -hmm. And so I was just like, I'll hold it. And then I go at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm like, geez, I really got to pee. So I finally said, screw it, and left and drove all the way back home before I actually took a pee. Damn. Yeah. yeah. So, like, a lot of mine are just really self-inflicted. <laughs> Dude, you saying, like, the kids thing, that reminds me of telling them, like, Grandpa, like, betrayed me in the bathroom. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to need you to elaborate. <laughs> grandfather, he betrayed me in the bathroom. <laughs> No, like afterwards, I walked out. I'm like, dude, you had one job, and he's like, and he's just <laughs> laughing. And he goes, really funny. So I was like, uh, in my kitty, I was probably like seven, maybe eight, and uh, I was gonna go to the bathroom. I'm like, hey, I'm gonna go to the bathroom, G Pa, and he's like, cool, and he like stood outside the stall. But then a kid came around, and I could hear him. He was like, and I was, you know, going a number two, right? Laying <laughs> that one. So mm -hmm. I was just sitting there, and I was hearing this conversation. And this kid was like, hey, is there anybody in there? And then my grandpa says, I don't know. And in that <laughs> moment, I was like, god damn it, grandpa. And I just see this kid crawl under the stall door. I'm like, no. dude. If it's locked, it's locked, my guy. This don't take the chance. You can just crawl under his feet. So you can crawl under. He's like, oh hey, I'm like, can you not? <laughs> <laughs> and then Damn. after it, I wash my hands and I just gave my grandpa a mean stare. I was like, you betrayed me, and he just thought like, he just laughed. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I was at my wow. uncle's house once, and he lives out in the middle of nowhere, and so I was like, hey, I gotta pee, and he's like, alright, well, just go pee, man, you can pee wherever the hell you want to pee, just go pee, and I was like, oh, cool, right? So I walk over, and I start peeing in this area, and he comes running out, and he goes, dude, you can't pee over there, was it not obvious? You can't pee on that, man. I forgot what the hell I was peeing on. I was like, bro. I like to think it's another person. <laughs> you're just standing there and it's like the mayor and you're just pissing on his leg like dude what the hell yeah apparently it was like right over by the dog stuff and he did not want that <laughs> wow. why were you just gonna like piss on the uh, food bag or whatever no I just had to take a pee and I moved to an area where I could take a pee hmm hmm that reason is how a dog piss on my leg. Happened to us all, hasn't it? I had a dog pump my leg to completion one time. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, no one wants to hear that. Titus. Titus, if you name this episode to completion, I'm you're fired. I'm sorry. Uh, you're hired. <laughs> <laughs> I'll rehire you. <laughs> no, the editor he has so much power. Yeah. He is. But uh, I have a uh, having to pee story. Huh. So I don't story. know if you guys know what Frontier, what what Great Wolf Lodge is. Of course. <laughs> oh, but, yeah, it's uh, not it's bed bugs. No, that's uh, that's probably like Motel Six or something, dude. No, no, no. I thought <laughs> in the kids' place where it's like all the park shit or not. Yeah, I don't know about any bed bug thing. All no, I know no, is that there's there is there is a bed bug outbreak. In yeah, one of those. Probably it was probably there, dude. I don't I don't know. But right. uh so I was like ten or eleven years old. And so they had this uh, like wizarding world thing. It wasn't Harry Potter necessarily, but it was implied it was Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. And you go you went around the place and you had like this one, you gotta do like little tasks tasks and solve like puzzles and stuff. 
So me and my cousins, we did that for about five or six hours. Oh, damn. And so we were getting sodas and drinking them, and so I ended up having to pee really badly. But we're, we're going swimming. You can you can go when we change. And so we get we get back to our room, and so we're all changing, and the bathrooms all kind of like are all took up. And uh, so I really have to go. Mm-hmm. And so they're like, they're like it's fine. There's a restroom down there. So we head down there early. Yeah. The restrooms there were literally all full. Wow. And so I'm like, fuck it. The whole world went entire this has to pee quick. There, fill them up. I don't <laughs> know if you guys know this about Great Wolf Lodge. But the... there's this big giant bucket. <laughs> I know what you're with water. <laughs> yeah. So 11-year-old me had the genius idea of I'll stand under there, and when it falls, I'll pee. All right. <laughs> And oh so I'm out there. Why I'm just, I, why I'm just standing like... under the bucket waiting for it. One of the live heads is like, I'm like doing the pee dance a little bit, but like kind of like trying to control it. And it, it had like just dumped when we got there. So it had another like 10 minutes until it had to fill. <laughs> and we were like, hey, buddy, it's going to take a minute. You might want to go somewhere else while it waits. I'm, like, I'm good. So I'm just standing there looking up at this bucket, waiting it to fall, holding my crutch. Trying to like keep the pee from coming out. Why not at this take point, an hour? At this point, one of the bathrooms is probably open. <laughs> yes. but, I, but I was so stuck on this. And so finally a big crowd of people are there now because it's like doing the like teetery thing. And so I'm standing there and I see it start to fall. It goes towards us. It hits the top of my head and immediately I pissed myself. <laughs> it's our <laughs> adamant, man. You will be set dead on being correct and doing what your plan is always <laughs> not back down yeah. honestly that could be like a horoscope today you will piss at great wolf lodge <laughs> oh man <laughs> so i actually have a kind of similar story uh, regarding having to go pee and pools yeah so i i, I as a kid i've always been the kind of kid that would go to the corner of the pool and sort of release themselves because I always loved swimming in pools. I always, I still do. I love pools. I don't know why. Pools I hate the ocean, but I love pools, even yeah, though I have that. a death fe- deathly fear of drowning. But that's not the point. <laughs> so we were at, uh, my mama had taken us to Disney World and at the resort that we were staying in, uh, we had, there's this giant pool that everyone at the resort could access. So, I was there. I was swimming around. And I had that moment where I was like, ooh, man. You know, I had to go pee, but I'm not gonna, because I'm having a blast. It's yeah. Disney World, man. I only have oh, a couple yeah. of days here. Mm-hmm. So, I started to sort of lean casually on the side of the pool and start to release myself. Oh, and a lady, one of the uh, sort of lifeguards, swims by. And she's like, she immediately turns towards me and says, are you peeing in the pool? And I say, I, I say um, no. And she's like, I can feel it. You are peeing in the pool. Get out of the pool. So she sort of forces me out of the pool, takes me to the side and gives me a stern talking about how he, how I could be arrested for public indecency and how I, awful it is for me to have done this. I mean, you kind of deserve treating it. it treating it like, what the fuck? Everybody no. pees in the pool. Everyone is, I, dude, I pissed in front of a large crowd of people. But she, she started to sternly talk to me like I literally murdered someone. It's crazy. I mean, you could possibly murder a little child have, drink I, the water. Oh, yes. Dude, what if the shark had been in there? You could have killed it, man. Yeah. Hey, I I drink pee on the on on the daily, and I what haven't you, gotten what, anything except for one or two STDs. What, so jokes on you. Yeah. You ever you, you ever do a PB infusion? The what? A, P, a PB infusion. Peanut butter infusion? No, a piss to blood infusion infusion. Infusion. No, I don't. I never even heard of that. Yeah, it's something I made up entirely. I was the joke is that you uh, you, you get piss and you just put it in your bloodstream. 
Nice. Wow, that's a good joke. That's a good joke, Titus. Everybody slowly and clap. And that's what we call drinking beer. Ooh. Uh, that's all nice fair. Bobby. Beer? You mean piss water? Uh, but I have a similar sort of thing to that because I went to Disneyland, the one in L.A. Uh, it was, I th I think it was early high school. Don't tell me you fucking peed in the pool too. No, because I'm not that much of a monster as Josh is apparently. Hey, Josh, we're gonna have to have a stern talking after this. Yeah, like what but, the fuck, man? Yeah, I'm gonna do. But, and, dude, um, literally everyone's peed in the pool. I okay. did it once on accident. <laughs> what? The name okay. of this episode is going to be We All Pee in Pools. <laughs> nah, it's, it's still going to be called To Completion. <laughs> to, I still no, love that. I can't. No. Um, please. Please. But um, <laughs> we, 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 went to, we went to L.A. to go to Disneyland. And I was already having, like, a bad vacation already. It hadn't been a great vacation. Every single time we go on a vacation with my family, it doesn't work out well. I'm 55, 56 now. And my wife is nagging me. My kids are yelling. You know. Um, What's the name of your firstborn? Just curious. Joshua. Uh, the name of our first born is what you just asked, right? Reginald. Also known as Reggie. <laughs> Reggie. Uh, you know what? Uh, the name of my first born is going to be I completed. God damn it. Um, <laughs> so, after we were done going to Disneyland and we were in the parking lot, we were like, shit, we can't find the car. <laughs> <laughs> and oh it, 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 it's high level like parking lot that's huge and my father would not listen to me I was like I know where it is it's in the fucking the Donald Duck section and he's like no <laughs> it's in the genie from Aladdin section because that's how it's mm -hmm. all divided is like characters yeah. is it like alphabetical but they slapped on <laughs> Disney stuff I guess I don't know uh so he wouldn't listen to me. I was correct, by the way. I knew exactly where it was, but they just didn't listen to me. How um, old were you? I early high school. Yeah, that's why. Um, but no, I it in the end turned out I'm right. But earlier, whenever we were leaving, I was like, "Oh, I gotta pee like bad," and uh the. The bathroom's like all full, and so I was like, eh, "I, you know, I can wait until uh, until we get back to the hotel, because I uh, I tend to get stage fright. So there's like one spot open, and it was one of the urinals. I'm like, eh, I can wait. <laughs> so we we spend like almost, I think it was two hours." trying to find our car it would have been like five minutes if they will listen to me but two hours trying to find our car in that massive parking lot wow and jesus Christ. it got to the point to where i was like limping because my bladder was so full and oh, like no. it felt like it, it was like a balloon that was about to burst i was like dog i gotta like go someplace and my dad was like okay just get between the pillars and let it out and I was like cool and I just kind of like slid between like the pillars and like the parking lot because it's one of those multi-level ones like a fucking tower so I just <laughs> looked in between the pillars and I just started letting it out I was like and the entire time I did that I was like I heard all like the footsteps everything I was like if somebody walks by me right now and calls the police on me I could be on a list <laughs> <laughs> I could be labeled as a sex offender. I'm so scared right now. Ooh. God. And uh, that's, uh, yeah. That's the name of the episode. Trey could have been labeled a sex offender at an early could age. Could have. You're saying that he isn't? All right. No, no, I, I don't know. That's Kylan's asshole. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fair enough. That's, that's a... Uh... To be fair, we all do it, though. 
No. Don't. You got to stop denying it, dude. Mm -hmm. You know, we all black on those lonely Sunday nights, all right, Logan? Dude, literally, we're all there. Uh-huh. <laughs> Even dude, Josh. Our fucking girlfriend. Yep. Fuck off. No, I, I don't okay, know. Okay, and? There. Stringer's going to swing, dude. I'm there spiritually. Mm hmm We get you on the we get you on the video we call. To, yeah, we get we get him in on Skype. We turn oh, yeah. on the web cam. Get one of those robots that like has a Trey, big you don't TV have a screen. Webcam. No, it's we don't do it at my house, we do it at Kylan's. Ooh yeah. Or we also have the we have the facility for it. Uh, Kylan's uh, is where it goes down. And uh we have Always John, is in Thursdays. Yeah. Did you try? He, it's like a, it's like one of those like uh, live streams. It's like, what do you want me to do, baby? <laughs> one of those like uh, things that come on at like three in the morning, where it's like, hot girls ready to call, mm. two dollars a minute. Why? What would? What's the point of Dude. dialing uh, those numbers? Like desperation. You're asking what the point of telling one eight hundred sexy girls is? <laughs> like it's it's so mind boggling to me as to why you would. Because honestly, because, dude, the eighties were a weird time for horny people. I'm not gonna lie, you're talking about calling these sort of numbers. And I'm sitting here like, the fucking great idea. Because eh, you know, there's other stuff that's free and easier to get. Like calling them, you have to actually call people, and who likes calling people? Not I. Yo, mama. All right. Sorry. You don't want to like Josh is never coming that back. That is getting added to my library. <laughs> <laughs> Logan uh, edits a podcast, and he has this like list of just like clips singled yeah, he, out of a saying. Honestly, yes, you need to start. You need to make a soundboard, dude. Like every ten uh, podcasts, every, every ten podcasts, we should do like a small best of video, <laughs> best clips. Yeah. That'd be cool. I don't yeah, want to try and animate them. <laughs> um, yeah, got all yeah. sorts of good stuff. Kylan, you have a new job. One. You better be watching this one. I want it on my desk by Friday. So got this one of Asa just randomly going babbity boo. No, it's, it's a, very no, fucking it's random. It's the baba booey. Oh yeah, baba booey. So Trey, would you mind if I just brought in a topic real quick? What are you gonna ask? I don't mind at all, but I gotta go real quick. Oh, wait, never mind. I still have half a drink left. Never mind. Okay. I, so, I can't believe you. My I question the wrong is can. Do you have any sort of weird preferences? It could either be the way you, I don't know, eat your pizza or do something that most people frown upon, but you. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, yeah, I have a weird one. Yeah, uh, I like I like Pepsi more than Coke. That's not really weird. That's just correct. It's pretty weird. A lot of everyone I know hates me for it. I mean, I think you're correct, honestly. Not gonna lie, I don't like either. Well, yeah, that's that's no. in your former. No, years. nobody you're really, pepper. nobody really likes soda. We're just addicted to the things that we hate. Honestly, fair. America, <laughs> of course. <laughs> It it doesn't it doesn't water down the milk. It, it keeps the cereal nice and cold, and it just makes it a more pleasant what, experience. Wait, 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 where is this going from? I I just talked about oh. how I, whenever I make cereal, did y'all did y'all hear no, me say soda? No, you just cut out. Honestly, did I? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Should I start over from the just, beginning uh, of my go, so, go ahead. So. I'm going to go through and edit later, and he's not going to have cut out. It's later. He actually cut out. It, it, it's surprising. Yeah. Whenever, where where did I cut out? Where did I cut out? Wait, just go where you were playing. From the go. beginning, yeah. yeah so whenever I, make, whenever I make cereal, I start out by grabbing a bowl, and I uh, put a couple of ice cubes at the bottom of my bowl, all right. and Wait, then make the my cereal the normal way, which is cereal, then milk. All right, Josh. It, what does, is, it does not. It does not water down the milk because milk. Let's be honest. Doesn't have that much of a distinct taste. Because it's and also it's only one or two 
or three or four ice cubes. It's not a lot. Unless four they're really, ice really cubes. Really There's so hey, many. I know, man. It's so many. No, it, it, it isn't enough to where it waters down the milk to where it tastes different. It's not going to water down the milk, but you're going to be, like, freezing over. You're going to get, like, frostbite from that shit. Why are you putting ice cubes in your milk? It, it keeps it, the it, milk cold. It makes what? it such a pleasant experience. Listen, you some of the experience comes from it. the warm milk. The warm milk is part of the experience. I the feel like, honestly, milk? you're not you're not getting the full cereal experience if you're not having a little bit of warm milk. All right, I don't all eat right. cereal anymore. You know what? Yeah. Well, do any of you have any sort of weird preferences that uh, others might frown upon? Yeah, not that, Chief. That ain't it. Uh, yes. <laughs> it's not that um, big. I do not like eating food not cooked by me in this household. When I am at my own house, if someone else made it, I usually avoid it. Damn. Just throw that shit. Such a bias, especially if Drew makes it. I'm not going to lie. If Drew makes mac and cheese, occasionally I'll take it. (laughs) If Drew makes sweet tea, though, I'm definitely having some. There goes my plans to uh, poison his dishes. Yeah. That's why you just add it to his when he's not looking. It will be none the wiser. <laughs> well, no, no one poisoned it. I made it myself. <laughs> and then it'll kill over. Yes. Yeah. Gotta yeah. have them pro out looking. I'm a meticulous cook, man. Just drop the side of the oh, entire and, uh, time. Um, I have a weird one All that right. I picked up from your dad, Titus, actually. Yeah. Um, whenever I eat my pizza, I always have two slices. So what I do is, is that I just take the two slices and I put one on top of the other. Like, yeah, not like, like yeah, not like the bottom. Uh, yeah, like you take the two opposite, like you take the two, like the side that has pepperonis so and you put the pepperonis on the two each other. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then Honestly, I do it's your fold them. I do that too. And I did also got it from Mr. Hayworth. He didn't yeah. shout or anything. Well, now you gotta. Like, oh, actually, no. You don't actually have to believe our name. It's on the website. Mm-hmm. That isn't incredibly uh, odd. I'll give you an odd way, which I eat my pizzas. I'm a man of a very, very weird, weird. I'm very weirdly particular whenever I eat food. And Josh, plan if out. you say you eat pizza with a fork and a knife, I'm if, you, say, no. if you say you put pineapple on pizza, oh no. Uh, well, it's not bad, but I don't prefer it. But Josh? anyways, what I was saying. So You're me concerned I'm, here. I'm a very particular person. I eat my food a very specific way. I always make sure the very last bite is the best. That's why I always sort of eat my food in an order from not necessarily worst, but the least favorite item on the plate to favorite item on the plate. Mm. So whenever That's I fair. eat my pizzas, I personally am not a fan of the crust. You might see where this is going. Oh, I, I Joshua shit. Holden, eat crust first. Oh, oh. You Honestly, are a menace. I, I hate it, but I can respect it. Kick him. Thank you, I, you know, Thank I you. Of, I, 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 I hate the crust. Thing. I throw them away or I dip them in soda. You no, it's them. good. That slap, dude. Dude, I totally forgot that you did that. You fuck. You really do, dude. don't you? Dude, crusts are the worst. I've tweeted about how bad people who like crusts are. One of my friends, Reduct. she was like, so crust is the best part of the pizza. And so I tweeted about it. What? Yeah. So people who say crust is the best part of the pizza are awful for two reasons. One, because it's a lie. And the second being it's not even a good lie. I can understand yeah. saying that you like the crust. That yeah. is fine. I sort of like the crust in a weird way. But liking the crust more than the pizza? What the hell? Like, yeah. The only people that say that the crust is the best part of pizza are either your parents or somebody's lying to themselves. Honestly, she yeah. might be lying to her, though. So, yeah, I like the crust, but I'm not going to say it's my favorite part. My favorite part is, like, the beginning couple slices. She, she didn't even say it was yeah. her favorite part. She said it was the best part. That's so well, lame. That is awful. Um, yeah. Too horrible, right? We need to start a thing, and if anyone says that the the crust is better than the actual pizza, we need to just drop a whole thing off, a uh, whole bag full of pizza crust, just hang it on their door, like a Dude, Walmart sack. Honestly, if someone says the crust is the best part of the pizza, I think you need to, I think you need to throw the pizza out. 
Because honestly, yeah. if the crust is the best part, it's probably a bad pizza. True. Why is it that this podcast has started so many food-related hate? Because food is a part of everyday lives. We don't always all play video games every day. We can't always all be driving and have some funny story. But we all need to eat. Yeah. yeah. We all like food. Hence, me and Asa have officially announced a shokugeki. It'll be a minute because we got to let COVID and stuff clear up. You know? Is that a Japanese word? What are you, a weeb? Dude, you weeb. And I listen to Japanese math rock. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I don't listen to that Japanese propaganda. I just I watch. I just watch. No. I just watch uh, cops. Ace and Titus gave me uh, manga for Dang, my man. birthday. Mangoes. I, you're, uh, you're more of a weeb than me. Josh, I don't know mm. why, but when you're doing the redneck voice, I was expecting you to go, man, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. <laughs> 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 I was fully Ugh. expecting you to say that, My and then you did Do you not like Taylor Swift? Ugh. Why? Do you because, like Taylor Swift? Yeah, dude. She's iconic. She writes catchy music. She writes it herself. She's true to her art. And she's a really mean person. And she's hot. You know what's a weird? You know what's a weird but con- convincing insult? What? Like, I, this isn't my idea, by the way. I got this from Germa, a streamer, saying using. Someone liking Garfield or thinking Garfield is funny as an insult. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, you want to you wanna insult my character? You probably think Garfield is funny. Like, isn't that a good insult? Oh, Dude, Which that's going to my daily use. Exactly. That, Which that's Garfield? Uh, any Garfield. What? Okay, the original was simplistic, and it had its merits. If you're talking about, like, the live-action ones with, like, the CG cat or Bill Murray voice Garfield, I'll understand you oh that. Oh, my God, I forgot he voiced. No, he regrets that. He regrets that. I'm sure he, he does. Really does. Yeah. He, 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 um, he has stated multiple times that he regrets that, and the only reason that he made a second movie is because he was contractually obligated to. Yeah. Big words. Um, because he never does sequels. He, like oh, they yeah. had to really like drag him to do Ghostbusters what? too. Oh yeah, I was about to say. I was like, what about like Ghostbusters? Like yeah, no, five thousand. Like, he really didn't want to do. No, oh, yeah, I can understand. They're gonna, they're gonna make another one, but he was like, no, I don't do sequels. No, no, no. And that's why it took so long to have a Ghostbusters three. Yeah, and in both the movies, you could really hear that he does not want to be voicing that groovy little cat. <laughs> Bro, Monday. I, I think that's just the character. Mondays, am I right? <laughs> wow, wow, wow. So how long until you think Garfield gets the same recognition and love as, like, Shrek or, like, the B movie? I mean, I feel like it's only of, a matter kind of time. He does. He kind of already does. Have, haven't you seen, like, a. Like the sort of gore field sort of things where it's like scary uh, or spooky well, edits. It's yeah, sort of in that like, I'm sorry, John. Or so, like the the the, the dark field where it's like where it's like that poorly made where it's like Garfield, you ate all of my food. Like, have gonna, you seen those videos? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna be honest. The the sort of levels of popularity go like. Shrek B movie then Garfield, you know? It's on yeah. the it's on the lower tier of meme culture. But I feel it's a weirdly different sort of podium entirely. Well it's, it's like a different the, sort of fame. Yeah, it's because of the gore thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, I I kind of enjoy those because just cause people are creative when creating those. It's not in the sense that because it's funny. I just think it's very creative the way they sort of format those. Very Different art styles and such. It's very mm-hmm. cool. Yeah. It's not yeah, funny. Yeah. Like art slash I'm sorry, John. I love that shit, dude. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. that's the kind of stuff that I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh but yeah. Talking about, I have not watched much Garfield at all. It, you're not missing anything. <laughs> when I was a wee little child. I had just a small little box TV is my only form of entertainment. We just had a few movies. I probably watched Garfield and Garfield 2 about 50 times because that's all I had to do as that wee little lad oh, with no friends. That reminds me. I have... Did any of you, like, have, like, 
a set movie for like oh I'm sick movie. No. Like, cause whenever I was a kid and I lived in uh, my garage, um, whenever I got sick, I had like one movie that'd be like, "This is what you watch whenever you're sick." Movie, cause you couldn't play video games, cause you're sick and you're skipping school, um, mm-hmm. and you can't hang out with other people because you're ill, so you just gotta watch like movies all day. And the movie that I would just watch on a repeat, cause my mind was just turned off from being ill. Was a uh, Ice Age. What what was the one with the boats? Uh, uh, Continental Drift. Yeah. Con- yeah, Continental Drift. That was it for me. Pushes up glasses, takes out uh, clipboard. Mm, yes, Continental Drift. I think it was just because of the funny monkey. Ooh, funky monkey. <laughs> um, I would say actually, I kind of do have a movie that that was like that. Um, you know, Babe, right? That sort of Charlotte Webb ripoff from like the nineties. Yeah, I'm looking at him right now. Uh, hey, <laughs> yeah, hey. I think I think that was it. That was probably it. Oh yeah, because I remember watching that a lot on like snow mm-hmm. days and uh, sick days. Hmm. Yeah. Uh. Man. <laughs> no, man. I wonder if I'm a disappointment because you've mentioned like 12 different movie show type names and I have not recognized a single one. You know how I feel now. Whenever you guys are like, oh yeah, have you seen what? I'm like, I don't watch movies, dog. <laughs> hey, Titus, have you seen Airplane by chance? Hey, Titus, have, yeah, you, actually seen, have. have you seen Locomotive? No. Uh-oh. Have you seen, have you uh, seen Planes, Trains, and Automobiles? <laughs> Let me check the podcast topic list. Movies is not on there. Damn. Hmm. Strokes beard hey. cunningly. Hmm. 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 Straight, straight, straight. Change the podcast topics to the podcast topic suggestions. <laughs> then, then Logan will be wrong. Damn. Damn. How long have we been going, by the way? Uh, 50 minutes. Damn. Oh, damn. Oh, shit. I feel, I feel like we haven't been going all. Then I looked at the time, I was like, wait, holy shit. I but, feel um, the opposite. Yeah, time goes by slow whenever you're not having fun. Uh, <laughs> I'm having fun. I'm just kidding. I it's love always it. a pleasure to be on here. <laughs> the, the running bit is now that I am heavily depressed because I run this. A bit? That's a bit? I thought I was... Depressed because you run it? Imagine editing it. <laughs> Also, I'm 56 years old. I'm a dad. Yeah, not going to lie. Like, I'm not going to call anyone out here. But some people just don't stop doing shit and fucking around while recording. Can I call somebody out? It's your podcast. You can do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, that's fair. Everybody make fun of make fun of Asa in the comments. Oh, shit. <laughs> Piece of shit. He was cooking one time during the podcast. We're like, Asa, you're making Logan do so much work right now. Wow. To be fair, it is Logan's job. We don't pay you for nothing. I, oh. you know, hey, everybody, change your comments and make fun of Asa. Make fun of Logan now for complaining. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, oh, Logan, what's that? You're complaining about your job to your bosses? <laughs> Hey, whoa, 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 you're not my job boss. Implies We're all equal founders here. <laughs> yes, sir. See, Thomas Jefferson wrote the words, all men are created equal, but that doesn't that, that didn't include a lot of people. It doesn't include Ooh. stutterers either, Titus. Did we also have a stroke? No, I did not. Um, I'm always having a brain aneurysm. My brain has a tumor the size of a baseball. My baseball has this a tumor the size of a brain. <laughs> my tumor has a baseball. This... <laughs> my, bra- <laughs> my my tumor has a brain the size of a baseball. <laughs> wow! I got some. Do we, dra- do, we, do we want to move on to the into that last topic? I got I got some drain Num- band. Numero four. I would, I would like to talk about number four. Oh, yeah. So, Titus yeah. on Twitter is a rampant advocate against all of J.K. Rowling's old schemes. Who is of, it? Uh, messing with Harry Potter lore, and he wanted to talk about this so bad. It's so funny. All right, so, 
You've been given access to J.K. Rowling's Twitter account, and you can now add one thing to the Harry Potter canon. What do you add? Hmm. Hmm. Well, I would have to go out and say, J.K. Rowling, uh, please shut up. Um, <laughs> in order to stop her from existing and to set off Twitter in a blaze against her favor, I would have her tweet out that black people don't exist in no. the Harry Potter universe. <laughs> no. Exactly. You know what I would do next? I would. I was gonna just delete her account. Mm, lame. I'm gonna make Dumbledore not gay. What? Ooh. He is now bisexual. <laughs> he is. He is now identifies as a female. I, I'm gonna make Dumbledore a. Uh, a transgender, just for the fun. Just, the just. Fun. I was gonna make Hagrid trans. Really? Ooh, that's better. Yeah. I, 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 think, I agree. With I that. think Hagrid works. Hold on, wait, Logan. You, you reacted like you didn't know this. That. Yeah, Logan. Did you not know Dumbledore was gay? Yeah. I didn't know that Dumbledore was gay. I'm saying, why make him not gay? Kind of matches his personality. Because then it would make everyone hate J.K. Rowling even more. Because yeah. first hey. she had to give some shitty pandering for a marginalized hey, group of people, and then she undid the shitty pandering. Hey, Logan. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Logan. that actually leads me to my next point. Uh. Dice? Which, yeah, which is just... Hey, Logan. Logan, I'm gonna move my mic down to my desk just so you can hear the dice, okay? Hey, move it down by your by the by your PC. So you can hear the hums. Dude, that sounds crisp and clean. Ooh, love a studio Ooh. quality, baby. <laughs> Logan, if you add that out, you're fired. Uh, I will take you mm. off the staff page if you I'm tech I'm technically you... fired. Why are you fired? We love you, Josh. Because I made fun of I made fun of Trey's laughing or no, using. No, we're not bringing it up. We're not bringing it up. Just, just, <laughs> uh, no, it's of it. Yes. No. Fucking. I I I was the second episode of the Kroger thing when you first made fun of it. I was like, God damn it! And then the, the, Dude, the, he got you so fucking hard there. And then the new one that came out, I was like, Josh, you make fun of it. You're being fired. And then he made fun of it, and I laughed at the joke. I'm like, no, all my dignity is gone out the window. Trey, you was never dignity. there to begin with. <sighs> yeah, he just he keeps it in Kevin's prison wallet. Me, me and Logan are in the same uh, wavelength. Yeah. Blink? Yeah. Wavelength? That's not a wave, wavelength. Wave, wave, wave. That's not a Zelda game. Wave? No, wave. that's Wave Maker. No. I'm confused. You're so wrong in so many ways. Ooh. It's wind wake. That was a fucking joke. It's not a good one. <laughs> okay. I never said it was. Uh, you have now. There you go. Uh, Logan, poorly edit in Titus saying that uh, it was a good joke, and I have won. It was. Here's, here's an audio clip. Um, that was a good joke. I am Titus. Yes. There you go. Oh, also, Maybe. Josh. Josh, I need you to add more of the uh, oh, sitcom yeah, sound effects. No, no, no. In the, in the Let's Plays, I need you to add more of the uh, sitcom sound effects. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you you might um, have to do yeah. that for, uh, for oh. the full Minecraft episode. Also, in we might have to do Minecraft episode. There's quite a bit of uh, audience clapping and also a Seinfeld theme. So <laughs> go watch that, by the I way. Think, I think we need to do an episode. Like We might have to do it in the Minecraft one where we just do a little sitcom. Oh, yeah. Like entirely improv it. Dude, why not just make our own uh, sitcom? I was about to say shitcom. Ooh, Honestly, yeah, knowing us, that's what it would turn out as. A sitcom, more like shitcom. Oh, Ooh, I made that so joke, not Logan. Speaking of a Josh, game. that was such a funny joke when you said that for the first time ever. <laughs> hey, you, editor Josh, um, please add in the credit that that was Trey's joke, or nope. Logan's joke. 
I'm editing you out. Ooh. Hey, editor Josh, will you get rid of Logan? <laughs> yep. yep, here we go. He's gone. <laughs> please, please. As you go, you bitch. Um, but speaking of games, I want to bring something to light that uh, me and Tyus was planning on doing a new. So, I, is it gonna be? Were we thinking of doing a series, Tyus, or just gonna be like a one-time game? I mean, we depends on how many views it gets. In all honesty, yeah. so the, how escape, it does. the Escape is two is a game that uh, Tyus told me to get. Just because I I've been wanting it for a while, and also he has it. We played it, and it was the funniest shit ever. <laughs> we wow. what's it on? Uh, Steam on the PC. Oh, it takes nice. like it takes like two gigabytes to run. You could honestly get it, Logan. Yeah, it sounds it sounds pretty cool. And honestly, y'all should maybe do that for this uh, Thursday or Friday's upload. Mm. We need something. Other than yeah. Kroger. Sorry, but uh, we should switch it up a little. No, we're yeah. going to do Kroger again, just because you said that. No. You know what? In fact, we're uh, we're switching entirely to Kroger. This is the last episode of the podcast. Yes. And this forum, next week, it'll be a solely Kroger podcast. We'll be talking about it, skins. It wouldn't, even, it wouldn't even be us talking. Hey, it would just be audio from Kroger. <laughs> it'll be the guns talking. Yeah. We'll, just, we'll vocode it. I call oh, it like this idea. Guns talking? Yeah, yeah. I call Hell it yeah, death brother. sound because that's how I am at Krunker. <laughs> I, I remember me, Josh, and Drew, we were bored. So I was like, let's go play Krunker. And we started playing it like halfway through. Josh was like, this just isn't fun. <laughs> what? I didn't say that. I, I just said, <laughs> no, no, no. We all, we all did I like think... a sniper match, and you're like, this just isn't fun. I'm not good at sniper. No. Like, so no, I, I didn't just... say that it wasn't fun. I was just saying Josh. I wasn't going to do sniper because I'm not good at it, and I know I would lose. Hey, you were playing with Drew, and that's the problem. Wait, does this mean we have someone worse than me? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Let's get Josh in one. I'll have a nice TDR. <laughs> I think, like, I think my KD ratio is like 1.99 or something. My KD is it. I get a lot of kills, but I die a lot too. That's fair, honestly. I feel like that's how war in general is. Yeah, um, honestly, I'm the guy that runs in. I get 23 kills, but uh, I die 17 times. Nice. Damn. Speaking of, so. Speaking of kill. Speaking of kill, Logan... What are you your thoughts on the death penalty? <laughs> Let's not get into that. <laughs> so, I think the death penalty should be carried out via helicopter blades rather than electrical chair. 